Men, they just held the bank up in Saloma. Let's get them. gang pulled your last hold up. I want to tell you how pleased we are with your work. You have done more to stamp out crime than any man on the staff. Yeah, thank you, sir. Nevertheless, we have promoted you to district inspector. Well, this is... Uh... And I have a surprise for you. That young brother of yours has signed on and takes your old place. My brother. Jim. You've gotten into a tough game, Jim. I wish you hadn't. But Tom, you're climbing. You're making good. But I've been lucky. Living by the gun. Someday, I'll miss. <laughs> we all do. You shouldn't have joined. That's all right. Let's make the best of it. I understand they're sending you up to Placerville. It's a tough country. Crane's the man you're replacing. Way late and shot in the back. Well, this looks like good pay dirt. Who's the boss here? I am. What can I do for you? We're government tax collectors. Want 20% of your mine gold for using this stream. I never heard of such a law. It's an outrage. <laughs> That won't do me any good. I want 20% right here and now. If you don't give it to me, you're going to lose the whole claim. All right. I'll pay. Thanks. As we got from the marshal, worked easy. Just frighten them and they shell out. Hey, let's head over to old Parker's things. We haven't worked this game on him yet. I guess we picked a bloomer, Dad. 
I hope that last pocket we opened would show something. But I guess it ain't here. We better move on. All right, sir. government man, collecting a tax on mine gold. Understand you did pretty well here last month. We'll just collect 20% now. There ain't any such law. I ain't going to pay it. Oh, yes, you will. We've been told you took quite a haul out of here last month. Now, where is it? Is $20 a nice haul? That's what we sweated out of this dirt, and you ain't getting none of it. Don't you lie to me. Now tell me where that dust is before I take it all. You leave my dad alone. Get out of here. Now are you going to tell me where it is or do I have to shake it out of you? Well, he ain't going to get it. I said that I was going to get it. Now where is it? You take your hands off me. I'll do nothing of the kind. Come on, tell me before I choke you. Let me all. I'll do it. Tell me I'll... Billy. Billy. Are you hurt? Go in. Billy. Oh, my boy. My boy. Billy. That's all I know, gentlemen. I buried my boy and came down here to report this outrage to you. Mr. Parker, I'll do everything I can to get them. Thank you, Inspector. It seems to me our marshal up there is negligent and not on the job. It happens to be my brother handling that district. And he or I have never been accused of negligence. Don't his reports tell you anything? I didn't want to tell you this, but He's made no reports. Why, made no reports? Why, there's, there must be something wrong. You may requisition any of our men to go to a Placerville to investigate. Thank you, gentlemen. If you don't mind, I'll handle this in my own way. The matter is entirely in your hands. And if you need any help, we are at your command. Thank you. Good luck. I'll pull out in the morning. be a great surprise for Dad. You know, he worked so hard to put this over and get the contract to carry the mail. He's very fortunate to get that contract. Dad's got a lot of money invested in this stage line. Oh, I hope it's a success. I'm glad you took the position as manager for Dad. I'll do everything I can to make it a success. I wonder what made that tree fall in that manner. Looks funny to me. Held up. Held up? Where's my dad? The 
got bad news for you, Miss Madison. Your father's inside. He's been shot. Shot? Put up your hardware, son. One of us is lap hurt. I don't usually greet a man with a gun, but that is the quickest way to keep you from drinking that water. Well, what's the matter with the water? Why, my spring's been poisoned. Poisoned? Thanks. I know you didn't poison it, but you wouldn't stop here for a drink. Why would anyone want to poison your water? I ain't quite figured it out, but there's a gang operating in this country. First, they want to collect part of your dust, and if you won't pay up, hey, they'll use any means to make you. They're wasting their time on my claim. Why, there ain't gold enough on it to fill a tooth. Did you report this to the marshal? It wouldn't do any good. I came down here and was waiting to handle it myself until you came along. Where are you from, son? Uh, uh, New Mexico way. Looking for work or prospecting? <laughs> Anything I can make a living at. A friend of mine opened up a wage line. Might be able to use a man. I was just starting for town. We'll see if you can't hitch on. <laughs> Thanks. Mighty fine of you.
Hello, gentlemen. What have you got in the wagon? Suits, shirts, collars, hats, underwear. In fact, anything you find in a good store. Can I show you something? That'll be enough of that, you know. Keep your hands away from those guns. Hey, you. Come here. Now, you boys, hand your guns over. Come on, make it snappy. Sorry to break up your little party. Uh, we we just yes, wanted some Yes, I things. noticed it. And you paid them for the goods you destroyed by leaving those guns. Now, mount up and get out of here. Mister, it sure was nice for you to help me. That's all right. Where are you bound for? It's at, at, at Placerville. Oh, Placerville? Yes, yeah, Placerville. Oh, we're going that way, too. Let's gather up your things and we'll head to town. But what'll I do with the guns? Keep them. That'll pay for the damages they've done. That's nice. I'd advise her to sell out. She knows what she's up against trying to operate that line alone. She doesn't sell. There are other ways. When's the will to be read? This afternoon in the office. Say, Clark, are you sure she doesn't suspect anything? Not a thing. The worry of her father's death, she'll sell out at our price. Once we get that stage line, we'll run things to suit ourselves. We met up with the galoot down at the forks while we were rousting a peddler around. He got the drop on us and we had to mosey. He's a tough customer, Clark. I think you better look him over. Well, if he comes into town, point him out to me. How much gold today, Tip? Oh, we did all right. Had to use our shooting irons on the Chinaman. But nobody will know about it. Well, if they do, the marshal will take care of it. Take care of our horses. I'll go over to the stage office and see about that job for you. Good. In the meantime, I'll look the town over. Thomas, you don't mind. I'll go with you. I'm a little bit nervous yet. All right, Abe. Turn along if you like. Thanks. According to the terms of your father's will, you are the sole owner. And you may dispose of the property as you wish. Say, 
We have to own the stage line. Is that right? The Marshal and Clark are fixing things up with the girl in there. I think Mr. Clark's advice to sell is very wise. Do you really think so, Marshal? Yes, I do. And I, as State Marshal, am ready to witness the transaction, if you're ready to sell. My father spent a lot of money for this equipment and property. Surely, I can't sell for the price the syndicate has offered me. I must got bad news for you. My friend who owns the stage got bumped off last week, and I guess there's no job. Never mind that. Tell me, who's that girl in there? Mary Madison. She owns... But Miss Madison, if you don't make the regular rounds, Carry the mail as your contract with the government calls for. They'll care and sue you. That'll take everything. I'd urge you to sell out at any price. He's right, Miss Madison. If you fail to make the next run, the government will shut you down. There's something spooky going on in there. We've got to act quick. Listen. Here's what I want you to do. You don't know me, miss. Well, we'll straighten that out later. Please, don't sell. Stall them until we've had a chance to talk. Please, trust me. He's doing the lock up and tell Charlie to find him ten bucks for disorderly conduct. All right, well, come on, please, down Get my phone. Right, right. right. Now, Miss Madison, you're crying right here. Please, you'll have to excuse me. I feel a little faint. Perhaps tomorrow. Yeah, but Miss Madison, the stage must run. Tomorrow may be too late. He's right, Miss Madison. You should sell at once. Please excuse me, gentlemen. Don't worry. She'll sign all right. Say, Tom says the fakers. It didn't have to be so realistic. Ten dollars a piece. It ought to be fifty. Oui. That hurts more than my eye. Oh, oh Tom. Tom, he wants ten dollars. Have you got it? <laughs> Here you are. All right, come on, boys. Oh, Tommy. Tommy, wait. I want to... Uh, will you please tell me what it's all about? I'm trying to find out myself, Abe. How would you men like to go to work for me? Go huh? to work for you? I got to open up a store. You'll open a store and I'll help. I didn't think. Well, I'll do anything you say, but I thought you said you wanted a job. <laughs> I told you that, but forget it. This marshal is a fake. A fake? How do you know? I'm the inspector for the state, and I've never laid eyes on him before. I've got to have men I can trust. Raise your right hands, boys, and repeat after me. I do hereby solemnly swear. I do, I do hereby, hereby solemnly, solemnly swear, swear. To uphold the peace and... Lady, what's the rental of the vacant store adjoining you? I'm going to sell out. You'd better wait and talk to the new owner. Make the rent very cheap. And I'll pay a full year in advance. Then if you sell, the new landlord is the only one that'll take up with you. Oh, Dad, will you take Abe out and look for store over while I talk to Miss Madison? Sure, Tom. Come, Come on, on, Abe. Yeah. Would you mind explaining your actions? I don't know why I did as you told me. 
curiosity, I guess. Miss Madison, you're being cheated. I know that. But if I can't operate the line, eventually I'll lose everything. But uh, why can't you operate it? I can't get drivers. They're afraid because of holdups. And unless the stage makes us run on schedule, I'll, I'll lose my mail contract. Then don't sell. You'll put a stage through on time. Why are you interested in helping me? Well, right now I can't tell you. But if you trust me, I'm sure everything will be all right and you won't lose your business. All right. I'll do as you say. How's that? Why are you so silent? There are times in life when it pays to be silent. Oh, I did as you told me. Discharge Clark and refuse to sell. Well, I hope you're right. Don't worry. Oh, Wade. What is it, Tommy? How much is that outfit? The hat, the coat, the vest, and the pants? Fifty dollars. But for you, I make it a special. Tommy, have you got any dummies? Sure, dead in the window. Uh, never mind now. How much is a dummy in an outfit like that? Tommy, you're too fast for me. But anything I own, you can write your own ticket. Oh, Tom, I forgot to tell you. I'm to handle the gold shipment for the Talgo mine tomorrow. I had better cancel that. Don't cancel anything yet. But we'll never put the stage through tomorrow. Does Clark know you're to haul the Tioga gold tomorrow? Yes. Why? Oh, nothing. The stage will go out of here tomorrow. That stranger who put it into us today has tied in with Mary Madison. I just saw him out there together. Be important. Sam, go on over. Tell him he's wanted here. I'll see who he is. Might take a minute if we have to. Keep him from causing trouble. What can I do for you? Can I show you something? No, nothing. Take my see a minute. There's a jet over in the palace at light right away. We'll go with you, Tom. Yes. No, you boys stay here with Miss Madison. I'll be a minute. Howdy, stranger. Sent for me? Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. No, thanks. Boys tell me, uh, right handed with your guns. Very nice of the boys. I got a proposition. If you're interested, might find room for you in this town. And if I'm not interested, nobody turns me down. If you're not interested, be on your way. We don't need any meddlers.
Step here, I'll show you where the fellow sleeps. Five hundred dollars when we see him down the river. Otherwise, what do you say? Come on, Tip. Don't move. Drop that gun. Your promise to go straight didn't mean much. Get it, Red. Are you? Yes, me. After me giving you a chance in the county of a girl, I find you gunning me. Well, I didn't know it was you. I didn't want to do it, but he threatened. Who's paying off? Quiet. Did he get my brother? I don't know. I tell you, I don't know. Who's this thug posing as a marshal? Well, that's Lucas. I'm up in the snake river. Wait, wait, don't go. They've got the whole country close to you. Why, they'd get you on sight. I'm going to give you one more chance, Red. One more chance to make good. Listen. Funny it's along. He wouldn't double cross us. Well, that's that. Better go pay it off. <laughs> Red didn't wait to get paid. <laughs> he must have known what's coming. Well, there'll be no stagecoach through tomorrow. note for me with a lot of funny instructions. But he says he's all right. I'm afraid something has happened to Tom. I'm worried. I'm going to try and find him. Well, well go ahead, but be careful. Well, of course I will. Where have you been? I'm staying out of sight until it's time to take the stage through. Forget the stage. Those men mean to kill you. You must go. 
I've got to use the safe to get proof on Clark, to get the goods on him. But how? He'll shoot you on sight. I left instructions for Abe and Dad. Now, don't you worry. You ride back to town and wait. I'm going to follow them. I may learn something. Oh, be careful, Tom. John, what stream have you been working? We have no stream. Come on, tell us. We have no stream. Oh, yes, you have. Where did you get that dust? We have no dust. I say you have. Now, where did you get it, John? No, so we have no dust. All right. <laughs> now, come on, tell me. You're going to tell me? No, we have no dust. I wouldn't do that if I were you. See the same thing I see? Sure. And it was his ghost, too. Well, of course or not, we'd better tell Clark quick. Come on. All our gold stole away last week. China boys find mine work very hard. That man drives us away. You, very good friend, Wong, never forget. Come inside. Have Henry and Aces. Thanks, Wong. That's a real treat. We just saw him. Who? The fellow that Red shot at last night. Oh, you're out of your head. Yes, we did. I tell you, we just saw him and he's alive up in Chinese Canyon. Well, get every man out there. He mustn't get out of that canyon. Been here long? Two months. Seneca, no allowed Wong or men leave country. Think Wong know too much about something. About what? Friend Wong, sick. Tom. Jim. Jim. Jumped me on the trail. Hey, fellas, we didn't do so bad this month, did we? I'll say that. <laughs> We've killed a state marshal. Well, you know what that means. Well, who's going to know it? With this card, Lucas here will be the new marshal. We'll have things our way in Plazaville. 
And then they threw me in the river for dead. And they found him very sick. Keep here, make well. Thanks, Long. I've got to get out of here, or they'll trap all of us. Oh, no, no. I'll show you the way. Wait up. Follow tunnel. Lead you out. Thanks, Wong. Take care of my brother. He's in those rocks. He can't get away. Let's get him.
Don't move. Drop that gun. Take your vest off. Get on that horse and ride for your life, or they'll kill you thinking you me. Now go. No! There he goes! We've got our own man. We've been tricked. Come on. I hope Tom's not in trouble. Don't worry. He's all right. He'll be here on time. Everything all set? Just like you told me. Oh, Tom, you're not going to try and take the stage through. I'm not going to try. I'm going to take it through. I'm going to drive the real stage out of town. That'll make Clark and his gang follow me. Dad, you and Abe drive the wagon and carry the mail on the gold shipment. When I leave, you head for the upper road. Is that clear? Sure. All right, let's go. Drive the Madison stage out the pass to Fulia. His pals are taking the gold and mail on the upper road. Tip. Yeah? You and your men had them off at Walker's Pass. Some you ride up and cut off that upper road. Jordy! Hey, come with me. Give me ten minutes to start and then you leave. All right, Tom. Yeah! Yeah!
work, Red. Come on, men. Where's Clark? Speak up now. Where's Clark? He went after the wagon. Red, take care of the boys and take them to town. Jim, Jack, come with me. Thought you'd outfigure me, eh? Taking the gold on the upper road. Come on, get over there. Get over. All right, get up there. Get up. Jim, if everything's straightened out for you, I guess I'll ramble along. Well, thanks a lot for what you've done for me, Tom. I'm all set now. Tom, I received the government contract, and the stage line is all set. Oh, Tom. Thanks to you, my store is all ready to operate. And I'm taking Dad in as a partner. Yes, and I'm all set. Oh, I want to thank you for saving my business. I was... I was wondering if... if you would... If I would what? Stay here and... and be my partner. Under one condition, if I can be your partner for life. Looks like Tommy was set too. Well, it looks like everybody's set. <laughs> <laughs>